hello guys welcome to today's video we're talking about how you can make as much as ten thousand dollars every single month by doing crypto arbitrage trading all right so this video is going to be all about crypto arbitrage trading and this is something that i have never thought before right so this arbitrage training video i'm going to give you guys today this strategy about crypto arbitrage i'm going to give you guys today is um exactly how you can perform crypto arbitrage in under two seconds guys and i know i've been giving you guys lots of crypto arbitrage trading strategies but some, sometimes it takes you some a lot of time to actually complete a trade which can make the market move from its original price right so if you are interested in this knowing how you can make crypto arbitrage or how you can perform crypto arbitrage as much as possible in a very short period of time and make massive amount of money from it up to ten thousand dollars or even more then stick on, stick on to this video to the very end because i'm gonna give you guys the various very big tip and the best crypto arbitrage trading strategy that are supposed to be implemented right now to making that kind of money right now before we begin into all these things guys my name is Manuel. this is crypto prince what i do in this channel is i teach you guys how to make money online so i talk about different things concerning cryptocurrency concerning the um the local market and different ways you can make money online so if you're interested in this type of content and you want to make money online every single day for yourself do not hesitate to actually hit that on that subscribe button right below this video put on the bell notification icon like this video right so this is going to help you stay updated every single time i drop a video that will help you make money online from the content i create right so back to the video that we are doing uh, we're, we're teaching right now uh, i'm teaching you guys right now um, what you need for this um, is a crypto arbitrage finder, right? So uh, this is actually one of the first strategies you can do this. You can use the crypto arbitrage finder for this. You can also um, decide not to use the crypto arbitrage finder for this. You can just do this on your own. But well, guys, this is going to take you more effort to do this on your own. Now, what we're going to be um, discussing about today is something that is kind of um, talking about intra arbitrage opportunities right so you know initially when we talk about crypto arbitrage it's basically like you buying cryptocurrency from a place where the price is low for example in this case we're talking about uh, let's say binance is the place where the price is low and then you send it over to this place right so let's say for 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 example the price of um let's just say btc in binance right so let's say btc the price of btc in binance is equal to um let me put that so let's say the price of btc in binance is equal to let's say uh uh currently it should be around twenty thousand dollars right so let's just say it's equal to like, let's say um twenty thousand dollars right so uh, let me simply put that straight right so let's say the price of btc in binance is twenty thousand dollars and the same price of btc in uh kucoin is something that's around uh let's say $21,000, right? So let's say uh, BTC, right? So equal to $21,000, right? Uh, sorry. So $21,000, right? So let's say this is basically what these two markets, these two crypto exchanges are trading, all right? So one is trading at $20,000 and the other one is trading at $21,000, right? So basically what comes to your mind is, wow. So if this is possible, then I can simply do what? buy cryptocurrency over here buy btc over here and send it over here right now um here comes the other challenge right because most of um most of you guys that are watching my videos are actually from africa right so but if you're not in africa then this shouldn't be a problem for you you're actually set to go with this knowledge alone all right but let's say you are from africa or you're from a country where the banking system doesn't allow you to purchase cryptocurrency with your debit card or your credit card or your bank transfer or anything so you cannot actually access these things quickly enough right so that in that, in that scenario basically what you actually um are gonna need to do is to use the second strategy i'm gonna be teaching you in this video okay so um that strategy is going to help you bypass this um, transferring cryptocurrency or transferring USDT from one exchange to Binance. Maybe you don't have the USDT in Binance. You know, before, before you do all these things, the opportunity would have moved on, you know, because these things move very quickly, right? 
But let's say you are in a country that accepts your bank transfer, um, bank transfer or credit cards to buy cryptocurrency in any exchange, right? So you can simply hop onto your Binance over, the, over to your Binance account, just log into your Binance account and then um, use your credit card or your debit card to buy BTC worth of this uh, one BTC at the price of $20, send it over to KuCoin and then sell it at the price of $1,000 and then convert it back to your normal currency to your bank account so at the end of the day you started with twenty thousand dollars and you ended up with one thousand dollars now now that is a twitter arbitrage incomplete all right now let's say that um um you that is not actually possible for you um but you need to do it with arbitrage right so this is actually still this particular second strategy i'm about to talk about is still um applicable to everyone regardless of where you stay whether you're in africa or you are in us or whatever right so it can still be apply, applied to every single one right but this time around africans are allowed or uh, permitted or let me just or let me just say opportune to actually use this particular, this particular strategy and that's what i like to call the intra arbitrage opportunity now this is not a triangular arbitrage opportunity though triangular arbitrage opportunity is also an option but this time around what we are basically gonna be doing is, um, for example, let's say uh, you are using something like Binance and you are using something like KuCoin, right? So that's actually why I drew both of them out there, right? So let's say you are using Binance and KuCoin, right? So um, basically, what you need to do is take opportunities. Now, this is not a constant thing you can be doing anyhow you like to making most of um, a lot of money from it, you know, because um, you 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 can't control the market right so in this um scenario well in both scenarios you need something like a crypto arbitrage bot for example rb2 right but i personally like using coin i think or, or you can use rb2 or you can go ahead and create your own arbitrage finder for you so whenever it finds an arbitrage to allow to alert you right so you can see over here rb2 is actually telling you that there's a there's a possibility of a crypto arbitrage of a cryptocurrency to uh, to be different in different exchanges right so the, the prices can vary in different exchanges so you can go ahead and check out this abit2 in case you want to know how to use abit2 you can just go ahead and check out this video i made before where i told you guys to how to select the best arbitrage board so i introduced coinite and i introduced abit2 right so in this place right now you can actually know exactly how to use coinite number one and also how to use happy to all of them in two of them in the same video right so you can gain massive knowledge from this video and the link is going to be in the description of this video right so do not forget to go ahead and check that out after you're done watching this video all right so um that's what i'm saying let's say you're using an arbitrage finder bot right so you found that an arbitrage opportunity in binance and in kucon right so just watch this this is, this is like um, example one right so let's just say example one you you found an arbitrage opportunity you got alerted that there's an arbitrage opportunity of btc or or let's just say any uh let's just let's change this you know let's let, let you not know, look as if we're using only btc for most of my videos let's use something like bnb right so let's say bnb right so uh you found an arbitrage opportunity in uh in bnb right so yeah, so let's just say you found an arbitrage opportunity in BNB. Obviously, the price is not going to be the same. So BNB is currently around, um, I don't know whether it's up to $200, but let me just put $200 for, for the video tutorial sake, all right? So let's say you found an arbitrage opportunity in Binance where it's selling around $200, uh, sorry. And in KuCoin, the, the price of BNB is selling at what, $210, right? So let's say this is basically what is uh, going on right now in the market. It just got alerted, right? Now, how can you perform? How can you perform this crypto arbitrage opportunity as quickly as possible, guys, to actually to actually make money from this without having you to lose this opportunity? Because guess what? See, see what can happen over here, right? So in under two seconds or in under three seconds, this price could actually end up being equal to this, or this one could actually end up being equal to this. But at a particular moment in time, two of them were actually two different prices of two di or the same coin in two different exchanges, right? I don't know if you're actually getting this whole scenario I'm saying right now, okay? So, number one, what you're gonna be using is what? A crypto arbitrage board, right? So, I don't really have anyone to, um, uh, a crypto arbitrage board. 
So I don't really have anyone to introduce you to, right? So I'm not talking about actual words like um, like Abitu or Coinites, right? So basically, what I'm trying to say, or let, let me just change this from crypto arbitrage bot to crypto trading bot, specifically designed for you to trade in form of arbitrage, right? So let me just change this to crypto trading bot, right? So crypto um, trading bot. So what your bot is gonna look like as if it's just trading, right? So your bot is gonna look as if it's just a trading bot, all right? So um, so that there, there are a lot of them over here, but basically these ones are owned by big companies that have already you can actually configure to do what you want to do, right? So basically what I'm trying to say is that over here, what this bot is gonna be doing is that it's gonna be scanning the market, right? So let's say you have something like um, so over here the price is, is cheaper than here, right? So over here you have two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars or two hundred USDT. So let me just put it down. So over here uh, you have uh, over here you have this is still this, this the example one, right? So over here you have two hundred USDT in uh, in USDT, right? So you have two hundred USDT. So two hundred USDT, right? So and over here, you have um, and over here you have one BNB, right? One, uh, sorry, so one BNB, right? BNB. So that's actually what you have in these two places, right? So now what is going to happen is that it's very simple. You use this your two hundred USDT to buy one BNB, right? So use it over here, right? So use it over here to do what buy one bnb right so buy one bnb over here right so buy one bnb over here right so what happened now is that you now acquired one bnb right so you still have you, you just 200 USD, right so over here that's they're selling to 10 do what you sell your one bnb you sell your one bnb um you sell your one bnb sell one bnb right so right now you sold your one bnb um, at the price of what them put the price so let me say uh let me put the prices right so um at sell one bnb at 210 uh dollars sorry 210 dollars and here you buy one bnb at 200 at 200 dollars and 200 uh dollars is sent in dollars and usdt is still the same thing right so let me just put it in dollars so we don't get confused so 200 dollars right so this is basically what just happened right so at the end of the day you acquired your bnb one bnb remember you had one bnb over here now this time around you have 200 usdt over here so you did what you used the usdt to buy one bnb right and now you you sold your one bnb for what 210 dollars now remember that at the beginning you had only 200 usdt and one bnb which if it's in binance everything is worth 400 dollars right but this time around you have the usdt and usdt stablecoin in binance and you have it in um and you have the bm the bnb in KuCoin where the price is higher and now if you call if you check the, what you have over here you have 200 naira worth of bnb sorry 200 dollars worth of worth of bnb and what 210 dollars worth of um of usdt or us dollar right so if you press this together right so what you have now is a total of 410 dollars right so what you have at the end of this arbitrage was a total of um that's a total a total of 200 uh, 410 dollars right so 400 and 410 dollars right so this is actually what you you have at the end of the day so basically i just made extra 10 dollars for this arbitrage all right so um i don't know if this is um easy enough for you to understand right so but let's say there's a scenario where you have your usdt um let's say let me just leave the, pro the prices the way they are right but this time around Instead of you having, let me just clear all these things. So let me clear all these things. All right. So now in this scenario, the prices are still the same, right? So it's still trading at two hundred dollars in Binance, and it's still trading at two hundred and ten dollars in KuCoin, right? But instead of you having your USDT over here, 
do not end up having something like uh, having your BNB over here, right? So you have one BNB over here, right? So uh, one BNB over here, right? So this is actually what you have. So it's it's worth at two hundred dollars, and now you have what two hundred and you have um you have two hundred USDT over here, right? So you have two hundred. Let me put this together. Two hundred USDT over here, right? So this is actually what you have right now. Now this arbitrage opportunity won't be possible. You know why? Because if you say you want to buy BNB with your 200 USDT, they're gonna they're gonna give you less than one BNB, right? And if you sell your one BNB to this amount, you're actually not making money. So at the end of the day, you're gonna notice that you're making less than what you actually spent, which is what you're spent here. Your capital here is 400 dollars, which is this plus this, right? So if you do this trade, you're not gonna be profitable. This is actually why I told you that this particular arbitrage strategy is or is um something that comes occasionally something that comes through um it, it's not that rare but you have to be uh, more careful and you have to look for it harder than if you look for the normal crypto buying and selling one right but this that it still works and guess what you can actually do this type of arbitrage in under two seconds guys in under two seconds before the market even moves right so if you now implement a bot over here now this is what's gonna happen the bot is not gonna the bot is not gonna um uh need you to run it number one the bot is gonna be doing the whole um sashes right so the bot can just be can just be um connected to your exchanges and you know just be doing the sashes over here right so this this could be the bot over here right so this could be the bot right so the bot can just be doing its its charge is the whole search it needs right so it will be scanning these two exchanges right so it will know where you have your usdt and where you have your your bnb right so so this is what what, what will happen right so you can have one bnb over here and still have an extra what have an extra um 200 usdt over here right same thing over here so what is basically gonna be it's gonna be matching where there's gonna be profit to trade you know if if you see that it's gonna be profitable to trade bnb over here to usdt and and usdt over here to bnb then it's gonna do that trade automatically right it's not gonna ask for your permission or 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 wait for you to come online to do that so basically what is gonna happen is that whenever you come online you're gonna be making more money yes the price of these things could be moving up and down which is another uh, setback to it right the prices of this could make moving up, up and down let's just say for example um this price of bnb eventually let's say what you have here is what is 200 usdt right so the price of bnb now eventually now uh moves to 250 bnb and what you have here is still what 200 B, uh, usdt so which means this one too will eventually trail it you know it will trail it. maybe let's just say this one will end up at 240 usdt um B, uh, dollar for, B, for bnb so eventually all this this cannot actually be able to buy one whole bnb again right but this can actually still be able to sell the whole bnb you have to at the price of 240 um at the price of 250 dollars all right so the thing there is not actually what the price of this is, is doing is it will calculate the total capital you have in the market and it will shake whether if it trades this whether there's gonna be profit, right? So just imagine this. Um, what I just say right now. Just let's just say imagine. Uh, let's just uh, look at this right now, right? So, so uh, coming back to this place. Sorry. So coming back to this place. Just let's just say that um, the price of this moves to what two forty, right? So two two hundred and forty dollars, and the price of this one moves to what two hundred and fifty dollars, right? So now you have your USDT in KuCoin and you have your BNB in Binance. Finance, right so now um what you have here now is total of 450 dollars remember this is your money this is your money right so this is your money this is your money this is what how where you're gonna say you're gonna you're gonna buy bnb over here and you're gonna sell bnb to one bnb over here right so uh you're gonna sorry so you're gonna sell bnb over here okay, so you're gonna sell this bnb um yeah you're gonna sell bnb over here to to give you guys to give you uh, the the 
the money in USDT over here, right? So at the end of the day, you're gonna make him something like let's say over here, um, 250 USDT, right? So 250 USDT over here. So that's basically what's gonna be happening over here, right? So 250 USDT, and at the end of the day, over here too, you're gonna make him let's say uh, put this down. So you're gonna make him let's say. Uh, due to the price uh, movements over here, so you might not be able to buy one full BNB again. So you might buy something like 0 point, 0 point, um, 0.9 BNB. I don't actually know, I'm not doing the calculation properly, right? So, but at the end of the day, the price of this thing, the price of this thing is gonna work what? Um, the price of this thing is gonna work 200 USDT. The price of the BNB is gonna buy for you, is gonna work 200 USDT. But now the price of the BNB is gonna sell. Right, remember what you had here as, as a BNB from the beginning was $400, but now the price moved up to what um, $250. So it's gonna sell this this one right now, give it $250. And now, when you calculate this, right, so you're gonna actually notice that you're not actually making loss, even though the, the market has actually moved away from its initial point. And, and as a matter of fact, you will still be in profit because if you have to buy this, um this BNB over here, it could actually end up giving you like 0 0.8 in Binance, right? Because the price it is in Binance is higher than the price it is in BNB. So I didn't know the other time I tried to say, what matters is actually what these prices are doing in this market. Now you can come tomorrow, your the amount of coin you have is reducing, or maybe the amount of coin you have is increasing, depending on what the market is doing. Now, this doesn't really mean that you are losing money, what matters is how much money you are making from each and every single trade it does, you know, each and every single trade it does, right? So there are actually a lot of things to learn about this arbitrage opportunity, which is why I've gone ahead to open a Telegram group where I, I tutor you guys, I, you know, I hear your complaints, I hear your questions, and then I answer these questions to you guys accordingly, right? So I dropped you guys a um, daily update on, on the best coin of the day using the Luna Crush um, analysis, right? So Luna Crush is like a, a bot that is checking on what is going on in the market, the, the trading percentage, the upward movement, the price and everything, right? So let me not just go into that, right? right? So basically what I'm trying to say is that you can join this group right now. Just go to the, cam to the description of this video. You're going to see the link over there, right? So join this group in case you don't understand anything uh, or some things that I that I explained in this whole video about crypto arbitrage trading in Binance and in KuCoin, right? So just go ahead and join that group and you can ask your question over there, right? So I can be able to attend to you right over there. Just make sure that once you are, um, when you are replying, reply with the, with the um, screenshot of, of the image of the video, right? So I can easily be able to um, understand where your question is coming from, all right? So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or like this video and share this video with your friends if you want to get more constant updates on how you can legitimately make a lot of money online, guys. Because this is basically what I do every single time, every single day, I make money online and I make lots of money online, all right? So if you want to be getting into this thing right now and making this money around, Side me, then well, all you simply need to do is simply subscribe to the channel, put on the bell notification icon, and like this video. Right? I'll see you guys in the next video when we're talking about another strategy you can make money online. Right? Take care.